Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to the channel again. If you like this content, remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment and share this video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Frostpunk 2 and what is the performance on my computer. In this case, we're going to be on the highest preset available, which is ultra high. And the idea is to compare the upscaling features of all of the upscalers. In this case, I'm going with DLSS, FSR, and then TSR. We were going to try using ultra quality, then balance, and then ultra performance. After that, we're going to talk a little bit about the results and what you should do for your machine or which one suits you better. I did not do any of frame generation benchmarks because I don't have DLSS 3. So the benchmark begins just where you see here that you're going to see a face and it's going to say press any key. I repeat the same step and process for every run. Captain. Can you hear us? Captain. Captain. Do you hear us? A generation ago, we fled the crumbling British Empire as the world spreads around us. I held New London together, united. We survived. Thirty years of whiteouts. But the world around us is dead. Dead. Empty. Right. Take it. Merely surviving is not enough. We have to expand. After all, it's us who survive the end of the world. It's us who survive. Time for the results. As you can see here, we see that on the top of the charts, we have the DLSS Ultra Performance. This makes sense, right? Since we know that Ultra Performance reduces the pixel load or resolution in order to gain a lot of frame rate. You can see that TSR, FSR, and DLSS, they're all between errors margin. So I wouldn't really have a favorite. For balance mode, you can see that they all are in errors margin as well for the average FPS. The same happens for the 1% low average FPS and 0.1% low average FPS. So at this point, if you have an AMD card, you should use probably FSR. And if you have an Nvidia card, you should use DLSS. When you play ultra quality, which is the highest setting for this game, we really start to see that on the average FPS side, everything feels the same, but DLSS actually suffers on the 0.1% low average. So have this in mind. Overall, the three upscalers appear to behave very similarly. And I wouldn't have a favorite. Like if you do a blind test, I don't think you could tell the difference between each of them at least not on the performance wise, maybe quality wise for your eyes, it's a possibility. Now here we have another interesting metric, which is really the time difference between two consecutive frame time values, which basically tells you how constant or how stable does your game runs at a certain 
preset, right? So in this case, we can see like by a lot, basically to put it away, the more blue you have on one line, the better it is. It means the more stable and the more easier your game is going to run, the more smooth you're going to feel it. And as you can see here, DLSS Ultra Performance is very smooth compared to all the rest of the charts. But always, as we can see, everything is under errors mistake. Like, as I said in the beginning, you couldn't tell the difference if you wouldn't be able to have this access or this chart. So again, the conclusion is, if you have an NVIDIA card, try using the LSS. Maybe you can leverage that. If you have an AMD card, you can use FSR. Of course, remember that FSR is available for every card, NVIDIA and AMD. Meanwhile, DLSS is available only for NVIDIA cards. TSR is the solution that is provided by Unreal Engine. Anyhow, there you go, guys. I hope that you like all the charts. It took a little bit of time, but it's very interesting to see. And I love performance. I love making charts. So I hope that you enjoy it. And remember, like and subscribe. See you on the next game.